What's up, guys? Chris from Closet Weave here, and we're back in my closet to watch episode 21 of the Apothecary Diary. So, last episode, Mau Mau was recovering from uh, the ceremony, the incident there, and she was taken into uh, she was she was healing up in Jinchi's bed actually, and then Jinchi asked her how she how she ended up there. So then uh, Mau Mau. Uh, told them all about the incidents and how everything was connecting and whatnot. And then uh, Lee Haku asked Mao Mao again, or told Mao Mao some news about Sure, how she was found dead in her bed, looking like a uh, suicide. Um, but then when Mao Mao did some digging, uh, she she figured out that she actually. Uh, faked her death and then got out of there. So then they went to like the the mortuary morgue area where the bodies are kept Opened up one of the coffins uh, that they believe she should have been in but her body wasn't there. It was swapped out um, so They got to figure out who <laughs> who Sugre was working with but she is She is you got to give it to her. You got to give her credit. She got in there caused a ruckus uh, made all these plans or helped out with these plans to try and take out Jinshi and just got up out of there. So um, Mau Mau wants to find her to ask her some questions on how to make medicine that resurrects the dead. And we saw that uh, creepy laugh she did, that maniacal laugh. Um, and then what else was happening? Um, oh yeah, Jinshi revealed a bunch of stuff when he was talking with Gaoshin, how he's actually 19 and Jinchi is just this facade that was built uh, to hide something deeper and then uh, we're, he was visiting the uh, the ladies again uh, like Lady Gyokyo, Li Shu, Lo Lan, um, uh, Gyokyo and then Gyokyo might be pregnant and then the episode ended with uh, I think it was Li Haku or like another official guy at the Vertigris house and they were talking about how one of the three princesses there uh, is being sold off so guess we're gonna find out who that is uh, appreciate the comments again QMog and PB Gamer so let's see what happens let's jump into episode 21 of the Apothecary Diaries how to buy out a contract oh here we go we got some pa 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 training <laughs> Boys thinking about the <laughs> thinking about the girls. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Scaring him. <laughs> Put some standard standards in this <laughs> in this medicine area, Mel Mel. Alright, <laughs> that's where it's, that's where he comes from. Family that makes that paper. Okay. How quickly people's lives can change. Just, uh, just from the Emperor <laughs> and their family. Boy opened up to Mao Mao, okay. Oh, can't stop thinking about Pyrene. Yeah, they got, they got a special way of crafting it. <laughs> oh my goodness. She played you. <laughs> Got you to reveal the secrets. <laughs> the saliva does something. Hmm. Oh, 
<laughs> She's trying to help you out. <laughs> oh, the oxen. Oh. <laughs> Dang, Mao just figured that out for you. <laughs> Way to go, Mao Mao. <laughs> Emergency for Liyaku. <laughs> that boy, that boy in love. Oh my god, the math. <laughs> oh, they be getting down. Yeah, she, she got that, that libido. Warlord in bed. Oh my. <laughs> Can I get a oh yeah? Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, hey, y'all got that connection, you and Pyrene. Oh. Now that must be she, she'll be protective over Mal Mal too. <laughs> <laughs> he got he got the stamina to keep up. <laughs> oh, I love it, Mamma. Mamma's gonna give the seal of approval. Ten K. Sheesh. <laughs> can, can, can I get a loan? <laughs> <laughs> Don't even bring up being turned down. <laughs> that boy buff. Wait. We got that muscular body. <laughs> Oh, we're getting a, a bodybuilding show. Lihaku. Look at this guy. That boy, bulky. Oh no. <laughs> Jinshi's about to walk in on this. Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh no. The jealousy. <laughs> uh oh. Awkward. <laughs> you gotta you gotta be more clear, Mao Mao. For 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 Pyron. For your big sister. <laughs> You gotta say all of that to, to Jinchi. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Yeah. And she still can't put it together that he likes her. <laughs> oh, is he gonna loan him the money? Oh, he's ready to throw hands for Pyrene. No way. Please. Oh, <laughs> The aura. Oh, 
ヨナナはその半分いやそのまだ半分でもいい<笑> That's something's fishy here. <笑>自分のことを買ってくれているのは正直嬉しいですしもうすでにも喉から手が出てしまいそうになりますただここで銀を受け取る Or is this another test from Mao Mao? 以上の一人かもしれないが私にとってはたった一人の女<笑> Okay, Lee Haku, you're a man's man. Let's go. Let's go, Lee Haku. I'll get it myself, he's saying. Hey, nothing but respect for that answer. <laughs> Or that was just a test for him to see if he likes Mao Mao. <laughs> Oh, just keep on writing her. Stay in contact. Keep training. Nah, he's a good guy. Look at that, giving her her space, not smothering her. Letting that love grow naturally. Sending little gifts. Dude. Lihaku, you sly devil, you. Mm mm mm. All for Lady Pyrene. Hey, she's noticing you. Oh, she's waiting. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Lacan. Lacan, Lacan. You're gonna have to. Yeah, you're gonna have to face him someday. Mau Mau. Hmm. Uh oh. He's getting impatient. What's going on? Why you why you looking so schemy over there, Lacan? Alright, so we're out here following uh Lee Haku's love story. Um Well first we were talking with the the other doctor there and what what his family was doing and uh Mau Mau helped figure out their little mystery with their paper business, uh the whole saliva thing and the ox. And then we we're uh, following Lee Haku's little love story with Pyron and how he wants to wants to have a relationship with her and how he he really he really genuinely loves her and wants her to be his wife even after uh, knowing everything that she's done and her job and everything he still genuinely loves her and it looked like Mao Mao was there basically like. Uh, making him go through a test to see if 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 he's worthy to to uh, pursue Pyron, and then <laughs> of course there had to be some miscommunications uh, when Mao Mao was analyzing Li Haku's body and how buffy is because she knows uh, the type Pyron likes, and Jinji had to barge in in the worst moment when Mao Mao asked for him to take off his underwear <laughs> to examine his manhood. And then, and Jinshi got jealous of that, and and Jinshi uh, asked to meet with Li Haku and offered to uh, to give him the money to buy out Pyrian, twenty thousand silver, and I think that that could have been another type of test to see if um, Li Haku really really loved Pyrian, and when he gave his answer of. Uh, what kind of man would it make him to buy buy out the woman he loves with another man's money that just eased Jinshi's um, uh, his tension of <laughs> thinking Li Haku and Mao Mao had something going on and it just made me made me like Li Haku as a character even more because um, yeah he he wants to earn her love himself and not use uh any other man's money or help 
So he's he's gonna earn her love his way, and it's very sweet, very romantic. He's visiting, he's spending time whenever he can with her, sending her letters, and then Pyrin sent was sending letters to Mao Mao, updating her as well, and she said she's waiting for her prince. So it looks like things are going in the right direction for those two. Uh, and then Lacan at the end, looking like he's scheming something else. Uh, so yeah, can't wait to see what happens next. And Q Mog, uh, it's crazy to think there's gonna be there's only what four episodes left, maybe three after this one, I forget. But yeah, this this anime is really good. This show, I love the story. But yeah, crazy to think it's coming to an end really soon. Um, can't wait to see what happens. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.